Hi, this is Lewis with Rossman Repair Group, and today I'd like to talk about investing in your business, investing in yourself, why it's a good idea, and how it worked for me. So this topic comes up because this is about the fourth anniversary of this machine with my business. This is an ultrasonic cleaner. This ultrasonic cleaner cost about $500. The tray inside the ultrasonic cleaner cost me about $100. And this Brandsonic EC fluid here, very heavy, cost me about 100 bucks at the time. So all in all, shipping, this is about an $800 investment. And I made this $800 investment four years ago, when I was very, very broke and very, very destitute, starting my business with about $268. Now, how did I afford to do this? Well, I lived here. I didn't like living there. It was a shitbox. I didn't like wearing crappy clothes. I didn't like having holes in my shoes, and I didn't like having a flip phone. But I did it, and because I did that, I was able to afford this machine. Now, why do I want this machine? Because this machine has the magic ability to turn dead motherboards into lots of money. And over four years, that's exactly what it did. Looking at my records, the amount of machines that I gave up on with the alcohol and the toothbrush because it didn't work, and threw into here, have made me $100,000 in gross revenue over four years. And it's, it's been on an exponential leap since I have a store now and I'm not doing it out of, my, out of my apartment. So that investment made me all that money that I would not have gotten otherwise. And because I made that money, I now live here. And you know, there were things that helped along the way. There were small business loans. There were times where I bought 50 of a product at $80 that due to market conditions became $250 a week later. But the way I was able to sustain my business and sustain my success early on, instead of give up when things got hard, was I invested in my business instead of investing in my personal life. Because my business pays for my personal life. My personal life doesn't pay for shit. And most people's businesses are that way. But even though most people's businesses follow mine, they put all their money into their personal life. And then they give up. It was too hard. Oh, we just couldn't make it in that field. Oh, there's no money in that field, or whatever. They will make excuses because they were unable to succeed. And the reason most people are unable to succeed is because they are unable to sacrifice to get from the beginning to the end. What I'm suggesting you do is sacrifice. Don't spend all the money on the beginning on yourself. Don't start a business and expect to live in a nice apartment and have a nice smartphone and wear nice clothes in the beginning. That's not how businesses start. And you know what? That's a good thing because it, it evens the playing field. It's not just about the A students and the people with the degrees and all the business experience that get by and win. You see, the people that win are often the people who are simply willing to crawl through that Shawshank Redemption sewer of shit in order to get to the nice island. And living in that apartment, that, that, was, uh, that was about three to six months of the Shawshank Redemption sewer of shit. And this can be applied to almost any business. It doesn't matter what you do. You could be an audio engineer. You could work in networking and IT. You could work in fixing laptops. You could be a car mechanic. Whatever industry you're in, I'm pretty sure that there's something you could be investing in right now that you're not investing in because you don't have the money. And I'm pretty sure you would have that money if you're willing to downgrade your life for a while. And the reason I'm bringing this up without downgrading your life is because people will occasionally go, well, I don't have a store, you have a store, bleh. Like, I should give a fuck. Like, I should feel bad for them. Well, I don't feel bad, because again, I lived here. I lived in way worse than there. And, you know, the time didn't take pictures of me, for obvious reasons. I've sacrificed. You know, I would, uh, I would take the bus home at, at, at 2 or 3 in the morning after a 14-hour day instead of calling a cab. And all of these times that I saved this money, I invested it right back into my business. I invested it into having an LP133 WX1 and 2 in stock, so that if somebody called me and said, I need this done in 20 minutes, I could say, you know what, I can do that. I don't need to order a part, it's here. And that investment in my business is what allowed me to grow, and it's what allowed me to get here. Do I feel bad that I'm 24 years old and I'm here? Well, you're 40 years old and you're there? Fuck no. You know why? Because I put in the time, I put in the effort, and most importantly, I put in the sacrifice. And the reason I bring this up is because there are people who will try to make me feel bad for my success. There are people who will go, well, you have this and I only have this. You know why I have this? Because I was willing to live in that shithole. 
because I was willing to eat apples at the end of the day instead of a real meal when it could be so that I could have lunch and dinner for under 99 cents. And I was willing to, I was willing to not have a smartphone. I was willing to not have a television. I was willing to give up everything in order to invest in my business. And I continuously did that. I put everything back into the business. And if you do that, I think you'll notice that you go somewhere. I am tired of walking into businesses that complain that they cannot do certain things and then looking at their table and seeing that all they have with them is a toothbrush and alcohol and then bragging to me how they've been in business for 10 years. I am tired of going to businesses that complain that uh, somebody said no because they may have to wait. Oh, that damn customer is impatient. You've been in business for 10 years. Stock a fucking 15.6 inch screen. If you advertise it, you fix fucking computers. Uh, invest in your business. You have a car. You have a house. You have two stores. I'm sure somewhere there, just a little bit of sacrifice could be put in so that you could spend 38 fucking dollars to have one of those there in case a customer walks in. Invest in yourself. Don't complain about me. Don't complain about the people who are out there sacrificing so that they could have what they have. And you, again, uh, most of these videos you may notice are being done at 11 at p.m. or 2 or 3 in the morning because I sacrifice something else during the day. That's my time. I sacrificed everything that I had in order to get where I am. That's why I have no apologies. That's why when somebody says, I should get a raise just because, you know, well, uh, I'm the worker and you're the owner. Like, you don't know what it's like. Fuck you. I do know what it's like. And I do more work than you. And that's why I'm here and you're there. Do the work. It's not that hard to get here. All you have to do is do the work. All you have to do is put in the sacrifice. All you have to do is put in the effort. If you're not willing to do that, my heart pumps piss for you.